We are getting high tech at Dogman's house. That's right. We have chicken cam. I know, man. Went and took a camera that was on the back of my new building that was, well, where'd you go? It was on the back of my building, what, you know, was useless to me. And I put it in there. So now, if there is a ruckus by a you know, snake, I may move that to where I can see the nesting boxes and the roosts. But hey, man, I can hear them. I can't hear them in here in the summer when the air conditioning is... Oh, I will leave it. When the air conditioning's going, the fan's going, you can't hear outside. And my dogs, they just haven't been trained yet to alert me when something's going on with the chickens. All right, I really don't have a big subject here. I wanted to do an afternoon podcast. Uh, I reset some camera settings, some microphone settings. I want to see how that sounds because this morning's uh, podcast, the sound was like tin canny. And I don't like that. And I'm a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like this. Uh, I ordered some new studio lights. Well, I don't really even have any. I got like a little light over my computer and one back here to kind of highlight the area. But I've got the great big one that's supposed to, you know, you see these podcasts. These guys, they, they, they're, they got a pretty good set up. And I may do that in the new building on that one end is set that up to be a podcast studio. Maybe get some of that fake brick to put on that wall and get a neon sign and all that. And make it look pretty. I know. Well, let's talk about this morning's video. Now, I think a lot of people misunderstood me. I like to pick us up. I, I like to get on YouTube and see what's trending, see what podcasts are doing well. And it was kind of in the lines of what I did this morning, only I used myself as, as an example. And it was kind of to help. I mean, these kind of how or help help videos on YouTube, especially for new creators, they're very popular. Helps draw in new subscribers. But I was using myself as an example. Now, what I think happened yesterday was YouTube. You know how they do. They didn't put out the notifications because I have never seen a video like that I put up on the other channel on a build do nothing for hours. And then that evening, it started picking up. So I don't know if, you know, they've had some glitches. Well, they always have glitches. But they had some yesterday. And it, it did that on both channels. But now both are normal views and doing well. But I didn't mean to insinuate you guys aren't watching or anything like that. Uh, I'm kind of using that as a scenario because they could relate to that. And I understand you're not all content creators. But it's, you know, there's also some information in there that to make you aware. I'm not on here complaining. My channels are booming right now, especially the other one. I mean, it's I'm I've gained I'm at a 13115 now. Just in a few hours. So, it's growing. I'm not complaining. But I was just uh just pointing out some things that creators face that you guys may not know about. Uh, I like to study the analytics they give you. That's the chickens probably texting me wanting something. But I like to study the analytics. You have to learn how to, you know, and I'm not going to talk too much about YouTube. Uh, but once you learn how to really read and study them, then you can start improving on things. And that's what I'm in the process of doing now. So, but I didn't know, I know I got a lot of comments that thought, people thought I was directing, being ungrateful, and directing something towards you guys, and I'm not doing that. So, don't think that, it's just, and, and going back to titles and thumbnails, that thumbnail popped, because it's working. Three letters, like I said, or three words, I don't even remember what I said, are you watching? Well, that invokes curiosity. Uh, 
people are going to click on it and go, what is he talking about? What, what's this about? And then in the title, uh, actually that title, I have a program that I enter all my information. What I think I want my title to be. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a Harvard degree. So it'll generate the same title, what I'm trying to say, but use, you know, better, a better way to put it. And it knows what the Al Alpo rhythm likes. And since I started using that, oh man, I mean, it, it has just made a tremendous difference. Is it cheating? No. It's just using, using what we have available to come up with better wording. In my descriptions, I never used to put descriptions in, in a YouTube video. I do now because I found out the algorithm uses your description to figure out where to put it, who to put it to. And if you don't have one, it, you know, that could have been my problem for years because I just, why I wasn't growing very much because it wasn't doing everything, the, the, using the tools they have there to help them, you know, they got to put these videos in the, in the, in front of the right people. You're, you're not going to put my videos in front of 18 year old kids. They are not going to watch them. I know the age groups of my audience because YouTube tells me their age groups. I don't know how they know all of our ages, but they seem to. But the majority of the people that watch me are over the age of 55. Now, I do got some younger subscribers, just not that many. But anyway, I had a busy morning. Roosted, and my day started, I, when I get up early, my mind gets going. And I got woken up at 3 a.m. on the dot. Dead hour. Yeah, I was dead tired. That's why they call it that. Lily was outside. Must have seen a rabbit. There's 50 of them out there. Barked at it. That set Rooster off. You know, Rooster don't care if there's an air conditioner or fan going. She hears barking. So when Lily, and she, 90% of the time, she don't see nothing. There's nothing. Well, Rooster gets going. And when she gets going, it gets the other two outside stirred up and they start barking. Nobody knows what they're barking at. There's an old story I have. This is what dogs do, okay? When I had six dogs in that yard, at one time I did. And here's how dogs do. They do what's called, one of them will do this. They'll do a muffle puff. You're like, what the hell's a muffle puff? Well... The dog thinks he sees something or just wants to stir up all the others so that dog can get the prime sleeping spot. I don't know what's in their mind, but the dog will run out to the fence line. It'll raise its head, point its tail, and go, bah, bah, bah. The other dogs hear this. They're like, they come running. You know, it's just the initial muffle puff. Now, if that dog out there muffle puffing actually hears something or sees something, that goes into the, <coughs> the they just bust into the all-out intruder alert, intruder alert, then they all go nuts. But if by chance the original muffle puffer, if she can't back up, or he back up that something was seen in about 30 seconds it all disintegrates and the others all retreat back and the original muffle puffer will stand out there an additional five to ten minutes just to make the others think well they did see something and they're waiting and they're going to be the first ones to see it and they're going to miss out that's how you got to get into the minds of dogs okay that's that's just how they are man I, I i know dogs all different types but they all do that yep and my dogs are all trained i don't know about millie and tilly but waldo lily and rooster if i say a certain key word they know rooster doesn't know tube monster now tube monster if i tell that to waldo he knows that's a snake. Him and Lily, they know a tube monster is a snake because whenever all the times we've had snakes in the yard and whatever and I'm wrangling them up, 
That's what I'll point to it, and I'll say it's a tube monster. Tube monster. Of course, that doesn't do any good with Waldo anymore because he's deaf. But, Rooster, if I hear a mouse, and she probably come running now. If I hear a mouse, all I have to do is say, there's a creature. There's a creature. She'll come running. And she know, and she'll run right into the kitchen because that's 90% of the time. That's where they come in. I haven't had that happen in quite a long time. I think I got everything sealed up pretty good. but And they don't come in in the summer anyway. You usually get them in the fall. First big rainy cold day. Take care of it. Man, I don't really, you know. Occasional, occasionally a rat will get in and that sucks. That's part of living in the country, man. So anyway, guys, just a short one. I wanted to explain that to you. Uh, I ain't complaining. You, you guys are doing great. And that video... Still pretty good, it ain't, you know. It's a, I don't get that many views on my videos on this channel. If I can get two thousand views on something, I'm ecstatic on this channel. Whereas that other channel, two thousand views is horrible. But I'm still grateful to get them. You know, you just if you if you put a lot of time into something, which I don't put a whole lot of time into a video. You guys know that. I'm not that upset if they don't get that many views, especially if I know the video sucked. So thanks for watching. Here's your afternoon one because t it's afternoon to you, but it's like midnight to me. I'm going to go take a nap because I've been up since 3 this morning. Happy trails. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe if you want. Somebody told me to say that. I never say that. I, what, well, where's the logo I always have up in the corner? I, you know what I did? I didn't bring the camera below it. There it is. Like and subscribe. Happy trails.